हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डी जी बाइक्स आई एम वैभव गुप्ता योर ऑल्ट्रिक्स एक्सपर्ट एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग यूज केस ऑफ ऑल्ट्रिक्स वेयर वी विल ट्राई टू कंट्रोल द बिहेवियर ऑफ ऑल्ट्रिक्स कंटेनर टूल वाया इनपुट ऑफ पैच मैक्रो देन वाई वेट लेट स्टार्ट now you could see the familiar screen of altrix we will try to build a batch macro in order to see how with the input of a batch macro we can control different containers based on certain logics let's go to the workflow configuration and change the type of the workflow to macro and there the batch macro we could have directly dragged a control parameter so it would have changed this configuration to batch macro but uh, in order to understand how it is done from a basics uh, we did this step here so now let's uh, drag a input tool the macro input tool and uh, change its data input let's say we need a variable as number and set its value as 100 by default Okay, now change the name of this input name here. Let's say number input, and also remove this show field map and use abbreviation as I, the input. Now what I want to do is I want to change the type of this input. as by default it has got selected as byte so i will change it to integer 64 so my logic is that whenever a number is greater than 100 i want to multiply its value by 12 and if it is less than 100 i want to multiply its value by 10 and each time i want to create a file where this value gets written so for the case one where i want to multiply it by 12 i will change the value of number by multiplying it by 12 so here it is and similarly the second case i want to multiply the number by 10 till now i have not written any condition but we will do it just wait for it so this is how, uh, the way we will be controlling behavior of containers so second thing i wanted to write is i wanted to write a output so let's say xls file and i will name it as output 1 similarly the output file for this same xls file and i will write it as output 2 now what i will do is i will add this particular group of tools where i have first condition into a container and name is at con1 and similarly i will add this group of second tools and add to the container and name the container as con2 so now i have two containers where i have con1 and con2 and with different sets of outputs where one output is number into 12 and another is number into 10 now i will drag one control parameter here and name this as value and also two action tools and linking to the same con control parameter and connect it to the container 1 
and here to container 2 i will not write the what functions we are going to do here for as we will leave this macro as it is here and let's just save it and name it as a number correcting macro now let's go to the new workflow and build a main workflow where this macro will be called let's take a text input and name it as number and uh, let's say 209 we will keep on changing this input and pass it to this macro and we'll see how the output will changes so let's now in include this macro here correcting macro so first of all i want to uh, like send the data to the input parameter so it will be linked here so, and i will group it by once i will link this control parameter then i could able to see the options now what i have to do is again let's go back to this main macro i wanted to update the value of this disabled parameter of the container based on my input so by default i will enable uh, container 1 and disable container 2 and whenever at the value from the contain uh, control parameter comes as true this will get disabled and this will get enabled so for that i have to write a formula and if it the value comes as false so this will remain as enabled and this will uh, get or it will remain as disabled so let me write a formula here place a specific string but with the formula so if the value of control parameter equals to false that means this container is enabled then we will set the value as false else or we could simply write zero or one similarly for this container it will be just opposite so we can just copy the condition from there and again select update with value formula disables and simply write the same if here the input is false then it should be true and in the else condition it should be false so now my batch macro is completely ready i will save it as i save it you see the notification the macro has been changed so now what i have will you do is i will use a formula tool for the input and what I will do is I will create another column and name it as value same as the control parameter now I will write a condition if the number is greater than 
hundred. Then I will return zero. That means false for the disabled because uh, uh, my first container should be enabled. For enabling it, uh, the disabled value should be false. So if the number is greater than 100, then we will send false else 1 and if. And I will set this as boolean type because we want to send it true or false values here. And now here you can see we can see both the number and value. So group by will always be by number. And parameter boolean value should be pool. So you see now all the errors have been called. So let's say we will save this workflow as number output. So now it's saved as number output dot yxmd. Now when we run it as we are providing the 209 as the input it should generate as per the logic the only out one file so let's see if i go to the folder and see we have out one dot xls file and the value of number multiplied by 12 has been written here so now let's delete this file so that we can understand if our logic is working correctly we will go back and go to the main workflow and change the number input less than 100 so let's say 90 and run it so in this case uh, if you see here the value has gone as true so the first container will be disabled and the second will be enabled so now the output to file should have been written in the location and as you can see it has been out to so it should have a value of 90 multiplied by 10 which is 900 so you see that in this way we able to control the behavior of Altrex container tool via our input so we can utilize this logic in multiple use cases where we have multiple condition sets of uh, workflow and we want to uh, execute only certain set of uh, workflow lines uh, based on certain conditions so we can put them all together in containers and enable or disable them based on certain sets of condition in case you have any such complex scenario where you want to implement that and you are not able to do it uh, you can reach out to me and i will try to explain how you can do that and in case you have more queries or more ideas on this topic please uh, comment on the comment section thank you everyone for watching this video and please do subscribe our channel